All right, welcome back. This time we are in update 2.5 that just dropped like probably 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna be doing a chest opening where I open up 10 of the mystery epic chest and 10 of the mystery rare chests. The reason why I'm doing this is I wanna see what is actually most beneficial as far as if you're trying to go for talents. Say for instance, you already have all the skins, you have most of the heroes. Is it still worth to go with the mystery epic chest or just go straight for the mystery rare chest? And so this is videos kind of to kind of test that waters and see what's best for you guys who are in this situation and want to buy talents. All right. So first off, you know, obviously I'd always recommend buying the today's talents with glory. You know, I'd buy, you know, two of those so I can at least get them unlocked. That's what I would generally tell you to do, uh, especially since a lot of us have an abundance of glory stacked up from over the years. But all right, and we're gonna go ahead and open up our free chest. So that's gonna give us talents as well sometimes. Oh, uh, hopefully, oh, I don't wanna stay in touch. So it didn't give me any talents, unfortunately, this time around. And then finally, we have our singular key for our rare mystery chest. Let's go ahead and use that. So there we go, got a couple talents. Nice, nice, we got Taka, Finn, and an Idris talent. Not too shabby. Divergent pass, okay. All right, so. We're gonna, again, we're gonna do 10 mystery rare chests and 10 mystery epic chests. So we'll kind of get an idea of what is beneficial. This account has pretty much all the skins, but maybe it'll be worthwhile to do the uh, mystery epic chest anyway. So let's start with the mystery rare chests. First one. All right, so we got not a single one yet. Okay, cool. That's amazing. So that's the first one. Second one. <laughs> okay. So, so far the rare chests don't seem to be very uh, effective when it comes to getting talents. There's the singular one. So we have the Glimmer Volley for the Kestrel there. That was, that was three. This is four. All right, so we got a Ringo, the Long Shots. All right, so we're starting to get a talent almost every one now. This is the fifth one. We've gotten, what, three talents so far in total? Two or three? Okay, so it looks like I haven't had a chance to get um, more than one talent per chest. Sometimes not even a talent, so. This is eight. There we go, there's a double. So we have the twin missiles times nine, bad, bad mojo times two. That's the ninth box. So that's a singular long tooth one. All right, so this is the last mystery rare chest. So it looks like, you know, you get some pretty good rolls if you're lucky with a high count in the talents. So I got like a nine Lyra one, I think it was. But in general, it seems like they're fairly low in count and not guaranteed every single uh, chest opening. So let's go ahead and go into the epic chest and see if this is more beneficial. I'm gonna do 10 of these, so this is the first one. So immediately, <laughs> immediately we've already gotten three of the talents. And times 10 for that one, the Awakened Nightmare, which is the epic talent, we only got one of, and the epic talent for Catherine, we only got one of. Uh, but immediately I can see that it's definitely far more beneficial if you want to go this route. Not saying you have to. I would definitely say that the best and most effective way of using your money is to probably just use your glory. And if you really, really want a certain skill, uh, probably just wait for it to show up in the, you know, the daily... Um, glory purchase option for the talents. But if you have a little extra money and you want to get some heroes, you want to get some skins and talents all at the same time, I would definitely say it looks like the epic chest is the best. I just lost count how many I've opened too. I think this is like the third one. Um, but here we go. So that's too shabby. We got a Baron, we got a Taka, and a Ringo. So number four. Yeah, and it looks like it's it's pretty much guaranteed to get three talents per box. 
Um, and there's generally like a pretty highly uh, high count type of talent too. It seems like if you get the epic ones, they're going to be like one, maybe two at most. Uh, as far as quantity you're going to get per box. And then you have the rares, which are, you know, going to be a lot more for each one you, you find. This is number five. All right, so this one, uh, you only get two. So you still could get less than three. Three uh, talents per box, per chest. But again, I mean, it's definitely looking far more effective. Plus, you always have that chance to win a thousand ice or a hundred thousand ice or a million ice jackpot. <laughs> Number six, we got the the Rona heroic brawler and then the sound barrier for Vox. Not too shabby. Number seven. All right, long shot is gonna be leveled up like crazy. I have thirty-one right now. Speedy spin up and then reconstitution. Which is Hangry Grants Grump Draw Life Steal Shorter Cooldown. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ooh, I got the Northwind Rhyme Legendary skin, which I, which I did not have. Cool. So number eight. So Heroic Brawler again. Mobile or mobile Bulwark. Oh, what's that? So Bright Bulwark moves with Lyra and lasts longer. Dude, that is a, that's cool. So you can basically just run around and shut anybody with mobility down constantly, no matter where you are, as long as it's during the duration of the ability. So that's pretty cool. And then this gift of light grants fortified health equal to a portion of its burst heal. Okay. What is a rug brawler? Basic attack reduces the cooldown of into the fray by 10%. Into the fray, lower damage, run passive gains attack speed. Hmm. All right, this is number nine, I believe. I'll probably do an, an extra one just because I think I maybe missed something. Glimmer Volley, we don't know what that one is. I did the video on that one already. You get seven range and you have uh, two arrows at launch. Backup Button, so big red button has two charges. Shorter cooldown, but 70% damage opposed to the original 100%. So that's kind of cool too. Oh, Unwaking Nightmare, that's the one that, uh, okay, puts enemies to sleep. Uh, with Oblivion, will not wake up when taking damage. It's pretty cool. Oh, well, this is the 10th one that I've counted, but I'm going to do one extra one just to kind of make sure. Ooh, what's this? The legendary talent. All right, cool. So Helogenesis Supernovas cause other stars to supernova, lower damage. Okay. So basically what you want to do is you want to lay down all your Helogenesis, and then when you actually supernova, it, it activates all of them in that area. That's kind of cool. Galaxy Collapse. <laughs> That's cool. All right, and then the Path of, of the Seeker. All Divergent Path perk bonuses are unlocked and range attack deals full damage. So basically it makes your basic attack far more effective. Because it doesn't really reduce any of the damage. All right, we'll do one more. There we go. So we have... The bullet split. So twirling silver causes Ringo's basic attack to fire a secondary shot at a nearby target. Split shot. Lower damage, twirling silver, longer cooldown. Okay. So basically you're double shooting, or you're doing a double shot every time you fire during your twirling silver. Spectral smite heals nearby allies. Cruel is now a healer. <laughs> and cruel passively gains crystal power. Interesting. So there we go. So, I mean, I'd definitely have to say that the epic mystery chests are far more effective if you're going to go this route, like I said, if you are going to spend a little bit of money to kind of get a, you know, a bunch of cool talents that you may not get for a long while. Um, I would definitely, you know, get the epic mystery chest. It's far more worth your money uh, overall because it seems like the rarity as well as the count on these uh, talents are far and more. At least from first glance, I might be, uh, you know, a little bit wrong in certain areas as far as quantity. But I would definitely say you get more talents per box than you do the epic or the rare mystery chest. But then again, the rare mystery chest is only 200, I suppose, to 1,000 for the epic one. Uh, but like I said, I think it's definitely far more beneficial to go to epic myst mystery just because you get higher level talents plus a lot more of them, it seems. And, you know, you, you get the other perks of getting heroes and skins that you may not have. So, I know a lot of you guys uh, may not have skins. Because, like me, unlike me, I spent a lot of money in this game already. 
Uh, and then my other account obviously gets unlocked by SCMC. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, I have a lot of the skins already, so it's not as beneficial. But a lot for a lot of the, the general general like community of players in Vainglory, like you'll have a lot of opportunities to get skins that you probably don't have. Uh, and so I would definitely say Epic Mystery Chest is by far, in general, the most effective means to spend your money as far as talents, getting hero skins, so on and so forth. Uh, but there we go. Um, again, definitely get the today's talents each day. It changes, um, I think, right? Because it says today's talents. So I'm assuming it's a 24-hour cycle. Uh, so definitely do that um, and get your free chest because you have chances to get the talents there. So if you don't want to spend money, that is the way to do it. And then also you have the, the uh, daily, I think, quest. So if you go to the main page here, you can get the hero chests. And it says, you know, play with five different heroes to collect talents for them. Surrounding bot matches does not count. So in actual blitz mode, battle royale, brawl mode type of environments, if you use any heroes, five of them, once you do that, you'll get a bunch of talents for those specific heroes. And I believe that's on a 24-hour cycle. You can do that once per day, um, as far as I'm concerned. It, it may not, but I remember in beta you could. So, uh, but there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video doing the uh, unboxing of the talents. Hopefully this is a little bit more insightful to kind of gauging how you guys will spend your money if you are going to. That way you don't have to do it to figure it out. I do it for you guys so that you guys can know, okay, this is how it works uh, without having to spend a single dime. Um, but yeah, enjoy 2.5 guys and I will see you guys next time. Later.